Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm just going to do a bit of gameplay with Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning using my reshade with Sweet Effects with the optional upgrade for the reshade. Now, if you chose to do the optional update for the reshade and Sweet Effects, you'll want to set up the in game reshade panel here. And what you do is push Shift F2 in order to bring that up. Just click the continue, click the plus, call it K-O-A-R, hit enter, continue, and finish. Oh. And then push the oh. Shift F2 in order to oh. close that off again. Oh. And right now it's nighttime. Oh. So we're actually seeing a moonbeam coming through the sky here. Now what this does is it actually strengthens the overall effects that you normally get from the EMB with sweet effects or the standard reshade with sweet effects, giving you more vibrant colors, darker shadows, and more contrast between the actual game definition and the darkness and light. Now it is a bit darker than the standard version, so you will want to bump up your light level in order to kind of bring up the overall game lighting. Now I'll just put it on the standard effects on the vanilla game, and as you can see, the game is quite gray looking and flat and the colors aren't very vibrant or sharp and if you look at the actual character here you'll notice that the design down her center back you can see that because we are close to the actual character but it does look rather faded and the actual metal boots and her weapons don't quite look like natural metal with a proper reflection off them and I'll just turn on the effects here and as you can see now all of that her outfit the design down her back the design on her gloves even along the edge of her actual um, top you can see all that fine detail and the designs are coming out the areas in the back there the ruins now I'll just turn off the effects here and as you can see we lose a lot of that fine detail and the coloration looks somewhat off and you can't actually even make out really any detail in that pillar just above her head there and I'll turn on the effects and as you can see it becomes really sharp looking you can make out actual detail in the ruins and the surrounding area. The actual coloration of the plants and the vegetation is coming out really sharp and it's coming out in its true base color. Now I'll just turn off the effects here and if you notice the rock face, the tree bark, the actual detailing around us all becomes very flat looking and you lose a lot of that definition and it's not really the true colors coming through the true base colors rather you're seeing the base colors with that gray overtone which takes away that definition and I'll just turn it back on and once again now we can actually see the light beams and there's actually a castle in the distance that you can make out the shadow of it there but now you can make out all the fine detail and the actual carvings in the ruins around us the rock face has become quite detailed and the bark on the trees and such and you can see a clear light separation between the light beams and the above sky and I'll look up at the sky here and I'll just turn off the effects and now the sky looks really grayish looking you're not actually getting a true sky color and it is nighttime at this time so it looks rather grayish 
and although you can see the clouds and stuff they kind of all fade together and once I turn that back on you can really get a good light separation and you can see the cloud wisps going by the light beams coming down around us and now they're clearing up and we're seeing more of the sky and I'm just gonna head down here towards this castle and the castle is starting to come into view there and we can make out the flags and the front gate and the actual brickwork and designs on the castle and looking around the actual ruins and their carvings the vegetation on them are coming out really nice and sharp as well as the tree there that's coming out really nice and sharp and I'll just turn off the effects again and now everything's become kind of flat and grayish even though we're really close to the ruins and the tree there we've lost a lot of that detail in lighting and that tree in the background now that green and the colored leaves are quite flat looking the ground is quite flat also the character over there and if we look at the castle although we can still make out some of the brickwork the flags aren't as clear and the rocks surrounding the front area you can't make out quite as much definition and I'll just turn it back on and as you can see now everything's coming out quite sharp and the ground we're getting a much better look to the area surrounding us the color and the detail looks quite natural now I'll actually Hail talk Traveler. to this person here so we can have a look at what it looks like while in conversation ah, finally for a while I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road Penry Kell's my name traveler by vocation I have no trade but I do have a job for one like yourself interested so as you can see, the actual definition and the coloring in the outfits is coming through quite nicely. And a lot more detail in the character. And even the surrounding area around us, we're still seeing a lot of that detail in the actual area. And I'll just talk to her here. Most travelers have qualms about dealing with the fair folk. Harder to read than a human, and fewer many pockets to pick. These ballads, Fay, they are not only rich in lore. I've heard snippets of a ballad, and a beautiful ruby ring. And I need someone to help me get it. Okay. I don't really want to get into a quest right now. Oh, I thought you might have been keen on the idea. If you change your mind, I'm here. I'll just come back to her later. Trust. Now I'm gonna head over here to the castle and we'll actually have a look inside here if I can actually get to the entrance and I'll show you the difference in the detailing here. Okay so Watch this is Shield here. Ring Keep. So I'll just have a look here, and as you can see we're getting a really nice sharp picture in the surrounding area. We can make out all the definition in detail on the actual statue there, the back walls, the flags, and everything. And let me just turn that off. Now here's the vanilla, and again it's become very grayish and flat looking. The actual colorations themselves aren't the true base colors they're more of a covered over offset of what their natural colors and definition should be and I'll just turn that back on and now we're really seeing that shading again and all the various details in the surrounding area and I'll just look around here and as you can see the light beams are coming through you can actually see the heat wave coming off of the flame there yes and it looks a lot more natural and I'll just head over here 
Now we're just going to look at a couple more areas here. And as you can see, the true colors, the base colors are coming through quite nicely. The detail there on the barrels and the various boxes and such. And one more time, I'll just turn off the effects here. And as you can see, although the game looks nice in the resolution that I'm running it in, the game does kind of look flat and we've lost some of that detail in the surrounding area and the skin tone looks very flat as well as her outfit and I'll turn it on once again and as you can see now we're really getting the true base colors and the game itself looks a lot sharper At your service. as well as the area around us now because this does make a higher contrast between the light and dark making the shadows themselves look darker so that you can really get a good variation between light and dark it may make the game seem darker in those areas so you'll want to raise your gamma level up in order to compensate for that and make the game whatever light level you prefer to use. Alright, so I'm just going to finish this video up, but I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen here, and if there are any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll talk to you again.